Jack and Keith, I can tell you that police once again want your help. They want you to take a, a hard look at a photo that they released over the weekend. Meanwhile, Michael Gar's family is thankful and grateful for the support. We are completely devastated by the loss of Michael Jr. Michael Gar's uncle read from a statement tonight. It's been three days since someone stabbed the 15 year old to death. With heavy hearts and emotions overflowing, Gar's family came back to the scene in Drexel Hill tonight. The outpouring of love and support has been overwhelming. Please continue to hold our family in your hearts and prayers as we navigate through this tragedy. Investigators say the Upper Darby High School sophomore was on his way home around 9.30 Friday night when he lost his life. They recently released a photo of a couple walking hand in hand in the area at the time near Bridge and Ann Streets. Police tell NBC10 they want to talk to them, but stress they're not suspects, only possible witnesses. How does this hit your heart looking around? You can see how much he was loved and how this affects the community. Exactly. It, it touches your heart. I mean, it brings tears to you. It's a tragic, horrific event from a young child who had his whole life ahead of him. A memorial continues to grow along with the heartache as reality sets in of a life taken too soon. Some wrote down messages on the sidewalk, including stop the violence. Neighbors say they ran out to help Gar that night as he fought to stay alive. The person who did this, they rot, and I hope the family gets the justice they deserve. You can feel all sorts of emotion as we were out there tonight. The Delaware County FOP is offering a $5,000 reward for any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of that suspect. Everybody out there just wants the answer to one question, why? For now, we're live in Upper Darby, Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.